All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So two years, the gap in age with the same height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of six wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Alex Poetai. Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Francis, the Predator and God. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to bear my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out for you. They touch gloves, and we are underway. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're gonna get a kickboxing match here in the round. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. 
Swing and a miss by Ngannou. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the count. Single collar tie now. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Right hand punch the clinch. All right, hit him. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> And he's back to his feet. Good side for him there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Left hand punch with the clinch. And now he's got the tie clinch. Whiffs on the right hand. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Under three minutes remain in round one. Oh, collar tie. The right hand just misses. Straight punch landed with so much power. Oh! All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Punches blocked. And they clinch once again. That knee. That oh. knee hurt him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Francis and Gunn. Just over two minutes to go. There's the kick. It's blocked. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Over, under now in the clinch. Oh, huge left hand from Francis Ngannou. Every time he loads up and extends, you feel like the fight might be in? Yeah, absolutely. And the whole crowd holds their breath. Right. You hear a big exhale. Every time Francis loads up to go finish a fight, you hear the crowd take all the air in yeah. because they're ready to explode. That's the type of performer, that's the type of fighter that Francis is. Beautiful punch. Takedown defense holds up. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, clipped him with the overhand. Under a minute to go in the round. Got the single collar tie. Bleeding over the left eye now. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, he hurt badly, Jeff. And there comes the separation now. Unable to connect there. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. 15 seconds to go. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Huge block. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. 
But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? Let's go fight, guys. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. So he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. And really starting to make these shots count. Fighter trying to pass here. Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. He loaded up. Oh! He's got him hurt here. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Ngannou. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his strike. Oh, he's hurt! Oh, he might be out. here by Francis Ngannou. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control in the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction, you throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. Ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Under a minute now to go. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. All right, single collar tie now. That strike blocked by the predator, Francis Ngannou. 
And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Twenty seconds left to go in round two. Fifteen seconds. He's gonna start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking. Because oh, he's and there's choked. the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. Championship fight. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. Whoa! He's out! Oh, my goodness! What is Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen.